Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Wednesday, April 2nd, 2014, Class 161. More choices to make, hands 8 and 9. Today we're going to cover two hands. The first, you're on defense. The second, you're the declarer. In each case, you need to make a critical play. Let's see how you do in each case. Here you are on hand 8. You are west, the dealer is south, and the opponents are vulnerable. The bidding goes. One heart by south. You pass. Goes one spade by north. The partner passes. One nut trump by south. You pass. Three no trump by north. And everyone passes. You are on lead against three no trump. The bidding is as shown. Questions. Question one. Estimate how many high card points partner has. That'll give you a feel for how you should play on the defense. Let's do that. Again, here's how the bidding went. You were on lead. And estimating how partner has, well, you add him up the other three, and he must have what's left. South shows 12 to 14, so say give him 13. You have 8, dummy has 12, so partner has 7. Give or take one. That's six to eight. Once again, here's the bidding. You're on lead. Question two. What is South's possible distribution? He bid hard, three bid no trump, and left three no trump in. Answers? Well, he showed five hearts by his opening bid. The three bid of no trump shows a balanced hand, and if he had a four card minor, he would have bid it somewhere along the line. So I'm going to assume that he is five three three two. I don't know which his two card suit is, but it's something like five three three two. Now the critical question, of course, is you're on lead. What is your opening lead? How do you figure out what the opening lead is? Answer, what is your opening lead? Well, you don't want to lead hearts. That's not going to help anybody except the declare. You don't want to lead diamonds because you have that tennis situation. You're probably going to give a trick away if you lead a diamond. So you're left with either clubs or spades. Well, let's lead spades because at least spades is a sequence and you might be leading through strength on the dummy in, in the dummy don't know but it's possible now the play goes you lead of course the jack of spades and it goes ace partner plays a six declare plays a three It's clear that spades have no future. You didn't exactly make a killing lead at trick one, but at least you didn't blow it at trick. At trick two, declare calls for the queen of hearts. Partner plays the ace of hearts. Clear plays the six. And I'm not going to play your card yet, because the question is, what card do you play and why do you play it? Let's think about that in some detail. The answer to the question, what is your play and why, is... Well, let's think about it. Everybody, including partner, knows that Declare started with five hearts or more. Dummy knows that, too. Partner knows that, too. The world knows it partner knows not to return a spade. He's going to win the trick, so he's going to lead to the next trick. 
partner her did clear open a heart and he knows the heart distribution you don't need to tell him the heart distribution he knows it he's going to return a minor suit which one well, you know which one but he does not know so what is your play you want to tell him to lead a diamond your play is a suit preference signal you play the nine of hearts why play the nine of hearts to tell him to lead a diamond it's a suit preference signal tell his partner to lead diamonds you are a genius because key to the many hands is playing the defense and determining what signal is what there's this priority sequence of signals in this case we need to understand that it's not important at trick two to tell your partner how many hearts he, you have he knows that what's critical is to know what suit he's going to return because he's going to win the trick the ace is going to win the trick it should be clear that your play of the high heart is a suit preference signal for diamonds and you're a genius because at this point partner leads the jack of diamonds let's look at the entire hand and see what happens well you can see that the declare is is dead if he plays low you're gonna play low and of course East is going to continue with the five if he covers with the king you play the ace and the queen and the third in all cases you're gonna win four diamonds and the ace of hearts and he is down nothing more to play that's it on the next hand you're the declarer on this hand you are south you are the dealer and your side is vulnerable bidding goes once paid by you your left hand opponent doubles your partner bids two spades passed by your right hand opponent and bidding isn't too difficult you have enough to bid four spades and it's all passed out you are the declare in four spades West leads king of diamonds good luck Question one, count your losers. Again, here's the bidding. Your losers are two hearts and two clubs. One too many. Question two, how can you eliminate a loser? There's really only one answer to the question, and that is to establish diamonds for a pitch of either a club or a heart. By the way, if the opponents had led a club or a heart, you'd have no chance to make the contract because they're going to set up the tricks before you can set up the diamonds. But you're lucky they led a diamond. What's your plan? Pretty straightforward. Win the ace of diamonds. Play a spade to the queen, pulling Trump along the way. Now lead the ten of diamonds. Now on the ten of diamonds, don't rough it. Pitch a club. West has to win. Queen or the jack, say he wins the queen. He's going to lead a club. So you pitch the club, but it's too late. You take the ace, play a spade over to the ace. Well, they, Trump didn't split, there's only one left. Now you lead another diamond. You're going to pitch your last club loser. West is in with the Jack of Diamonds. At this point he can lead a heart, but he's too late. Let's say he leads a heart.
Well, you win the ace. You play a spade. Over to dummy. Pulling trump. The rate of diamond is now a winner. On which you pitch a losing heart. At this point in time, you're going to lose the heart. But that's all. You lose three tricks. You set up the diamond suit for a discard of either your heart or your club loser. Well played. There you played two hands today. Tomorrow, class 162, I'm going to give you a hand where you're going to have a challenge making three no trump. See you tomorrow.